Damn, son. Yo, welcome to Tastemaker, episode 32. Did you miss me? <laughs> uh, no, okay, no, you didn't. Um, no, I took it. Didn't there was an unintentional break, unintentional break, a little busy. That's okay. Um, so to make up for it. Um, I am going to do a twofer tonight, or a versus, this or that, or maybe a tit for tat. That's foreshadowing for those who don't know. Um, so what we have tonight, like I said, it's kind of a, uh, it, again, you'll see. Why should I explain it before I get into it? Um, first of all, our first drink of the night versus is a Gorilla Teat. That's a Gorilla Tit. The Gorilla Teat. Dock and looks good. Sounds good too, doesn't it? Hmm. The next one is an angel's teat. That's an angel's tit. Okay. Um, so we have gorilla tit teat. Versus Angel's Teeth. Let's see how it goes. Um, Cause I don't know how it's gonna go. Uh, now, full disclosure, the Gorilla Teeth. I have tried it before, and then that go I know that goes uh, against my protocol for this uh, show. Uh, but. Um, it's been a long time. And because it rhymes with, you know, Gorilla Teat rhymes with Angel Teat, uh, I gotta do them together. I gotta do them together. Even though they are completely opposite type of drinks. Uh, so, Gorilla Teat is three ingredients. Simple, easy to do, uh, and it's three quarter ounces of all three. Ready? Dark rum, bourbon, coffee liqueur. I use Kahlua. Okay. Easy peasy. I have a uh, dark spice rum in there and a rye bourbon and Kahlua. That's what we have. And uh, yeah, let me tell you what the other one is first or what's in it. Okay. Angel's tea. Uh, two ingredients. Also pretty simple. Chilled White cream de cacao. Chilled. And then you float half an ounce of heavy cream on top. I actually did it. I used a back of the spoon and, and it, look, it actually worked. <clears throat> Let's see what the verdict is. Gorilla tea. Kind of. Oh well, the nose smells like alcohol. That's what it smells like. It smells like sweet alcohol. Let's see what it tastes like. Oh, and you're supposed to woo. You're supposed to put it in a uh, ice filled glass. I took that literal and filled it up to the top with apartment ice. You know, the amount of ingredients doesn't go all the way to the top, so it didn't need that much. But you know. That is good. I know the ingredients sound odd, but it balances out very, very well. I highly uh, encourage you to try it. And, you know, like I said, I use a spice drum and a high rye whiskey, a uh, bourbon, excuse me. 
try it a little different. You know, I would not recommend a gold rum. That is not a dark rum, okay? Do not do that. That, I don't know, I just foresee that being awful. But if you did a bourbon that was not rye, I would say that's very good. I mean, this is, this does not burn whatsoever. Mm, fantastic. It is the, it's like the teat of a gorilla. I don't know. All right. It is angel time. Let's see. Does an angel get its wings every time it drink an angel teat? Or from the angel teat? <laughs> I don't know. Um, angel teat. One, two, three. I smell nothing. Dear Lord, dear Lord, that is delicious. Some might call this heavenly. I mean, this is nectar from the gods. No, seriously. This is, <laughs> you already knew, I mean, the cream de cacao, you know, is chocolate, okay? But when it is filtered through a creamy indulgence of heavy cream, it's like it coats it. it it's like a coated chocolate candy. This is ridiculously good. Like drinking from the teat of an angel. They named it right. I mean, what can I say? Mm. My goodness. Both of those are so good. I, do <clears throat> I can't put one against another. It just depends on your mood. Are you in a uh, more of a chocolatey, uh, desserty mood, I guess? And that doesn't mean it's too sweet, but just chocolatey, desserty mood. Uh, or do you want um, all banged without the gorilla in your face? I don't know. Um, give it a shot, folks. Because uh, these are titastic. <laughs> uh, okay. I'll see you again, uh, hopefully next week. You'll find soon enough. Damn, 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 damn,